Notice the reverse of everything that is normal becoming abnormal. 216-578-1007 or 1-800-348-1007. Three five one nine two to shoot me a text. AlanCoxShow.com. Want to watch live? Thanks to uh, Griorge. How do you pronounce that? It's George with an R. Gorge. Gorge. Gorge McDoos. McDoos. For help, <laughs> helping out. I got all those O's in there. Yeah. Guardians uh, beat the A's last night in 10 innings. 3-2 to two is the final. Get another crack at him tonight. Uh, the A's are a terrible ball club right now. They haven't even won 20 games. And the Guardians keep them at 19 as of last night. So Guardians A's tonight, 7-10. Here on MMS and on the iHeartRadio app. And then they'll stick around through the weekend to host the Milwaukee Brewers. Paul Molitor and the Milwaukee Brewers. Does he still play? Sure. For yeah. Robin Yount. And the Milwaukee Brewers? My brother grew up, for some reason, a Brewers fan. My middle brother. I don't know why. Milwaukee was just up the road from us. And I think a trip to Milwaukee when we were younger, uh, I think it inflamed something in my brother. He grew up a diehard Milwaukee Brewers fan. So Cecil Cooper and Raleigh Fingers and Prince Fielder and Paul Molitor and all the great... Milwaukee Brewers players from the 80s when we were growing up. Teddy Higuera and all those guys. My brother maintains his Brewers fandom to this day. And I don't know why. Hmm. I guess we all grew up in our own ways uh, resistant to the idea of um, conformity to some degree. Because we grew up in a Cubs family, which is why I'm a White Sox fan. And uh, my brother is a Brewers fan. And I think my youngest brother is completely agnostic about sports. The All-Star Caps, by the way, are on sale for all the teams. Want to get yourself a Guardians All-Star Cap? They're on sale. Cleveland.com wrote it up today. Uh, great. Tuesday, July 11th at T-Mobile Park in Seattle. So when the 2023 All-Star Game is going to happen. It's got the All-Star Game logo on the side, of course. Are the, the Guardians caps are, um, I, I have to admit, I only look for the White Sox cap. It's gray. A lot of them are gray, right? I think they're but all you can, gray, yeah. You can get some well, in the, like the Astros, you can get in the orange and the blue. and mm-hmm. They mix it up a little bit. Where's the Guardians caps? You can get the blue. Or you can get the the gray there. I saw the gray one. So. Yeah. I liked it, though. Are you going to get one? Will you get an all-star cap? Probably not. You won't? No. Hmm. All right, sir. They have Guardian just... Gucci gear. I know. I have a friend that bought <laughs> one of those hats. Not even Gucci friend... gear? My, my what friend... are they, like $200? Uh, $700. Sorry, no. What? I know a girl that bought one. Oh, come on. So Dude, my, my gay best what's friend. What's the point? I she wanted it. My gay friend that everyone thinks is Pound Cake, Dwayne Duke, he's a comic. He sent me a screenshot. You can get the hat for 700 and then the matching t-shirt for $1400. He said What so you can so you can telegraph to everybody what a dummy you are? Well, I don't know. My friend goes I got, I got called poor by something ugly and I may not recover. I need to find the homosexual responsible for this. <laughs> I was like, so you just assume a gay guy made this? He goes 100% because it's also Yellow with white spots. It's like not even yeah, Guardians spots. color. It's yellow polka dots. Yellow with white polka dots. And then the Guardians logo on it for $1,400. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. Wow. Who's buying this? Rich people. People with no kids. $1,400 and, and, t-shirt. And money to burn. Mm-hmm. Listen, I yeah. am frivolous with my money. That is well tread ground on the show. A fourteen hundred dollar T shirt that isn't even in the team's colors. Well, there are levels of frivolity with money. My goodness. I mean, think of the money that you've gambled. Mm-hmm. You've gambled more than fourteen hundred dollars. Absolutely. Yeah. You got nothing to show. Nothing but sadness and turmoil and shame 
We were talking about that last night, Brian and I, because my band was up at the casino May 5th. And I thought I, you said your band. I was my, like, well, I want to yeah, come see them. I'm a very good band. Um, my band was up in, on May 5th, and I haven't gone back to take myself off the list, so it's kind of like in perpetuity until you take yourself off. And Brian was like, mm, you know, I'm really proud of you for that. Good job. And then I was like, he was saying how stupid gambling is. Brian and, was telling you this. Yes, and I was like... Why has he got to kill your kink? No, because he was just like, it's just to him. He's like, it's just such a waste of money. He's like, I would rather you come home with two new pair of shoes instead of going to the casino. Because I have an like, entire... T- <laughs> Tory I, know, Birch. I know, I was like, I have an entire closet full of shoes. And he was like, seriously, every time you want to go to the casino, I would rather you come home with two brand new pair of Jordans. He's like, because then at least you can wear them. At least you have something to show for them. Yeah. And I'm wondering if he would feel the same if I gave up like a weekend trip to Pittsburgh, and I came home with a fourteen hundred dollar Guardian shirt. I'm like, well, you said if I was gonna gamble it, <laughs> but honey, well you, you you've given up memories from <laughs> Pittsburgh that you can never lose. <laughs> right, that's a keepsake in and of itself. Right. Wow. Oh, by the way, we were talking about the solstice, the first day of summer earlier today. That is today. But for those of you who pay attention. To your horoscope, yes. by the way. Today is also the last day of Gemini. Geminis run May 21 to June 21. And I only mention this because uh, I was reading a thing that was talking about for people who pay attention to their horoscope. The uh, Geminis are the signs most likely to have spontaneous sex. Whoa. Oh. Putting the hoe in horoscope. Or so, the whore in horoscope. That too. It's right there. It's got a W in that. Okay. Not the way I do it. Uh huh. I'll keep it the hoe. Uh, but uh, you know, and then tomorrow we'll begin Cancer. Like my birthday is on Friday, and when I was growing up, people I knew that were into horoscopes would be like, "You're more of a Gemini. You don't really act like a Cancer." I go, "I don't know what that means." And then they would tell me, and I go, oh, yeah. Are you on the cusp? That's what they say. You know, I'm on the cusp of so many things. Mm -hmm. Uh, Success. Yes. uh, uh, True happiness. Mm -hmm. Uh, Gemini. Mm -hmm. That, uh, but if you are a Gemini, just, uh, sure, it ends today. So Your reign on the Zodiac chart, but if you are, have also been called out, as the most likely to enjoy spontaneous sex. What better like, place to like do that? it than on a vehicle with a lid? Okay. <laughs> the funny bus. Oh, yeah, have some <laughs> spontaneous sex on the funny bus. Could be the honey yeah, bus. Yeah. Uh, so spontaneous sex is just like you're walking around, then boom, out of nowhere you're having sex? Yes, yes. free well, use. Just. I've done that. I was making some pancakes, and then all of a sudden, Having sex. Oh, yeah. That's right. Nice. I got batter for you. <laughs> I was at the bar, and then I woke up in someone's bed, and I was like, oh, I guess I'm having sex now. Hmm. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> Why am I on my tummy? Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, for people who uh, struggle with a spontaneous libido, you m- who's struggling with their libido, by the way? I mean, if you've got some place I'm on a, to uh, point... Your, um, your amour, <laughs> your amorous vibes. Say what? I feel like I've conditioned myself. Like my libido is more on a schedule than anything. Like I'm, I'm, I'm horny at specific times. Well, like some people like morning sex, <clears throat> and other people yeah. don't care for that. Other people need it to be dark, and they need the, the drapes closed and whatever. I do like morning. Sex. I'm a yeah, big of course. Fan of I'm a different person. I don't when care I get what sex. time. Yeah, because you're groggy <laughs> and you. you know. I remember there was. There well, was you got to brush your teeth first, but yeah. other than that. I remember there was one time. You know, I was messing Nothing around. Facing you though. I was messing around with my boyfriend, and he was like, "What has gotten into you?" <laughs> he just like he was so surprised. Well, I, you're. I mean, um, I was like different vigor. But a guy's <laughs> testosterone levels are the highest in the morning, mm-hmm. so it, that makes sense. But um, it was the first thing I did, and he was just like, "Wow, like you, yeah, nothing." Brian and I never get to have it because he goes to work at friggin' five in the morning. And then on the week, and oh yeah, okay, that's not morning sex. That's middle of night sex. And then on the weekends, we have his kid. 
So it's like, we never get to have morning sex. It's like in our entire relationship, it's happened a handful of well, times. Well, plop her in front of Paw Patrol and, you know, I mean. She's seven. She's not three. <laughs> <laughs> plop her in front of Star and the Forces of Evil and, uh, you know, put her in front of Gravity Falls. No, because then off she and wants have a good to know time. why we're not in the same room as her. Why what? Following us around. What are you in, guys doing? In Where are you the going? House? Where are you talking about? Yes. This she's like is, a barnacle yes. when you're in the house? She's up Why? our ass the entire time. You're like, I'm trying to get your dad to do that. Yeah, right. No, 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 no. Well, it's she's an only child at our house. So she's, is my kid, but she's not but following she's me got, around the house. At her mom's house, she has two younger sisters. So right. with us, it's 100% of the attention all the time. So she's like, she is on you. Like, there are times I'm like, dude, you got to get out of my face. You have to be more than six inches away from oh, me. Oh, wait. Like, so she just constantly wants your attention. Yes. I think it's because she has she has two younger sisters. Yeah, but she's house. got to, there's got to be something that she likes to do and doesn't want to be bothered. I have, we have not found that activity yet. Like, my daughter is deep into her Minecraft phase. So she there doesn't are t- play any video games. There are times when we'll be like, yep. She's maybe it's that's time her, to get her into some video games. Maybe we don't. I mean, we don't even have a console. Go get a GameCube for like thirty <laughs> bucks and play Mario Kart. That's what we do. We're well, she used men. to. She would like escape into YouTube. There's this show called this YouTube family called A for Adley, which has like millions and millions of views, and it's basically the parents playing whatever with the kids, right? So she was really into that, but then she got her YouTube privileges taken away because I guess one weekend Brian's in our back room and her toy room is attached to the back room and she started an only fan no but he heard he heard whatever she was watching talking about penises and he went in there and he was like was what are you watching he went, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. but he went in there and was like what are you watching and she grabbed the remote real quick and tried to change like oh nothing nothing so now she's not gonna watch youtube by herself she's watching videos about penises i'm watching the penis show dad <laughs> right you won't teach me the i had to find it out for myself penises were art Yep. So we can't even use that as an ex- excuse. Like, here, sit here and watch your stories. Watch your little YouTubes. Hmm. She does get into her tablet, though, so maybe we put her in front of the tablet. Yeah, well, there's, yeah. there's games on the tablet. Nora's yeah. on, we don't have an Xbox. Nora's on an iPad. I'm um, saying Minecraft is on that? Yeah. Yeah, and she's basically, every time she's doing it, she's doing it with Bill's niece. Yeah. They're constantly on FaceTime doing Minecraft. So, um... But again, even that you have to limit it. You go, right. all right, yeah, you because know, we we don't do screens or anything we on get Sundays. Thirty and, minutes to well, get, she gets an hour a day of tablet time. That's so, about the and same. And we tell yeah. her you can split it up however you want if you want it. And she's actually really like uh, good with that. She's like, okay, I'll do twenty minutes before breakfast. You get an hour a day, but only half an hour if it's the penis show. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> you go watch your penis show while we have a penis <laughs> show. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get your dad to do the penis show on the other side of the door over here. So you tell me what we're going to do. Oh, boy. Ah, kids. Aren't they crazy? Ah, crazy. just the craziest. Crazy kids. Craziest. Indeed. I love you. But please don't touch my vagina. The first time Brian and I had morning sex, it was early in our relationship, and I was in such a good mood because it was, this was after the pandemic. We started dating in, again in 2020, right? So like things are just starting to open up. I hadn't had sex in like yeah. a year. Yeah. He hadn't had sex in two. The first two time, years. He had sex in like. Did he join a monastery? A year and a half. He, dude, he's not a. He's not that guy. He's a monogamous dude. Like yeah, but after a, a while, you just pop one out to get it. Just to say you In can. the rear view yeah. mirror. So I remember the first time after he left that morning and I was on my way to work or something, I was in such a good mood. I bought the person Starbucks behind me. <laughs> like I was like handing out compliments. I'm like, hey, I got laid today. Yeah. <laughs> Free coffee for everybody. You still got a groove back. Yeah. Yes. Slay it forward. <laughs> right. So, damn, he, she just got some pipe laid. <laughs> <laughs> Two Walk years. Around. That's that's uh, that's unforgivable. I didn't, I didn't believe it. It is either. ridiculous. He's a grown ass man. He said he two listened, years. And I've told the story. What are you before. trying to prove? When he and I first we dated twice. When we dated the first time, I told him I was like, "Hey, I'm getting really busy on the road." Wait, oh, but is this including mouth stuff too? Like everything? Uh, he just said sex. I don't know. Maybe oh, that's because I could live with like some 
you know, some some sloppy appetizers. Yeah, <laughs> he probably wasn't. Probably not that either, right? I don't I mean, think, I really he seems don't think pretty so. mean and potatoes. He's not that kind yeah. of guy. And right. I like the the first time we dated, we dated for like six weeks, almost two months. And I was like, hey, I'm getting real busy on the road. If you just want to keep this like as a friends with benefits when I'm home, that'll be cool. But I don't have time for a relationship. And he was like, no. He's like, I'm not into that. I am very okay. much a relationship person. I'm a one on one person. I know it's not going to work. As much as I want to sleep with you, I know this isn't going to work for me. And so we never did. Wow. Well, which was annoying because he made has his more. he has his boundaries. <laughs> well, it worked. He's it did got work. what works for him. A sexual threesome. I live with him and I love his kid. What's I going think on now? The longest I've gone in my like, I had sex in the Philippines and then I, it was another I think two years before I had sex again, uh, because I was going through a lot of guilt with the leaving the Mormon Church and stuff like that. But since then, I think the longest I've gone is maybe four months, maybe three. Tell us all about it. I've gone longer than that. I I mean, I was like eight. Yeah, I've gone like almost never a full year. Maybe like a maybe not a full year, but I didn't necessarily have sex during time. There was you know sloppies and lettuce. I'm talking like like an omission with another person. (laughs) Sloppies and lettuce. Well, then the pound cake story. The the different type. I count that as sex. Okay. Like that's, well, then, no, I have Yes. If there's omissions. This has been like three weeks. It's sex. Three weeks. See, three weeks the longest you've see, ever gone. See how, like, different it goes? Like, no, nah, I was like eight. Oh, wait, I, no, three weeks. Because I'm trying to be, you know, you, you said sex. I was like, all right, yeah. let me jump into this conversation. I, I don't have sex that often. Like, especially with, like, random strangers. It takes a lot of work. But sloppies, you just get right on in there and you get right I was right going to say, none of it sounds like a lot of work when you pop grinder and you're like, oh, look who's 10 feet away from me and good to go. Well, that yeah. does not sound like a lot of work. Now, it might be your, your if you're being judicious about it, I understand that. But it does not sound like a lot of work. Well, It sounds like the exact opposite. And therein lies the appeal of that app. It's not called a lot of work to get laid. Well, it it's called Grinder. It wasn't a lot of options there. Yeah, right? well, it wasn't a lot of good options, and it would leave me with paranoia because I'm like, I don't know these people. And I, so, I thought that was the hook. It used to be. Uh. I've, go, I've gone soft, if you pardon the pun, but like, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, you, it used to be the allure. Yeah. And, and now it's just like I, I either am scared that I'm gonna get killed when, before I get there, and then there. I'm so in my head I'm not into it. And then when I leave, I'm like, oh, do I have an STD? I don't know this person. Like, it, it's just, it's not even worth it for me anymore. So, yeah, it's a lot of work mentally to get over. They tried that with a straight, they tried a straight app just for hookups a few years ago. And that thing flopped right away. It's been yeah, like, no girl um, wants to I'm sign looking up on that. for, yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're automatically a whore. <laughs> Your phone just would never stop buzzing. It would just be going off all day long. I'm at Gemini. <laughs> yeah. Like, Jenny, I saw you on this profile you need to do better <laughs> you need to do better, do better. like bitch you're on there too like i was on there looking at other bitches that's the only better. way you can see me on there why is your head wrapped in cheesecloth <laughs> i gotta take a break uh you're gonna get that uh, guardians pre-game that is what happens before the game shortly after 6 30 